So you might be in a situation where you're actually having issues updating your particular iPhone. Now, this can happen for an unlimited amount of reasons, but the very first thing I'd recommend doing is starting off with your Wi-Fi and cell connections. Your Wi-Fi and cell connection can probably be the number one reason why you're running into these problems. So what you're going to want to start off by doing is actually just make your way over to your settings application. Now, when you do that, what you're going to want to do is hop inside of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth or Wi-Fi and cellular. So hop inside of Wi-Fi or cellular and just go and double check your Wi-Fi and cell connections. This in and of itself can probably be one of the biggest ways to fix this problem because if your Wi-Fi connection isn't good, if your cell connection isn't good, you're going to have issues updating your iPhone. So try that out that my end of fixing it. Now, if that doesn't work, another thing you can try doing is making your way over into your general settings of your iPhone, getting into the software update panel here and checking out that particular update that you're trying to do. If you're trying to install a beta software or if you're already on a beta software, things like that can probably cause some issues. That's why I always stick to recommend installing like the main official version. So whatever the official version is right now, just install that. You're gonna be way better off from that particular standpoint as well. Now on top of that, let's say you're doing that and that's still not working. Another thing you may wanna try doing is to actually go through and try restarting your phone. You would not believe how often something like that, literally just restarting your device, can probably end up fixing the problem. And that right there is one of the most important things too. So hold the volume up button and the power button as well and just power down your phone. Like I said, you would not believe how often something like that can end up fixing the problem. And that's another big thing I'd recommend looking into as well. If none of those things are working, you may just want to double check your iPhone storage. So go inside of general once again, go into iPhone storage, which is right here, and literally just go through and pretty much see if there's any storage issues going on with your iPhone. Make sure you have enough battery life with your iPhone as well. But just try deleting some stuff and that may end up fixing the problem for you too. So and that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.